Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute and I wanted to be super consistent with my videos, but life got a little bit busy and I wasn't able to post anything, but I am back and I'm here in action today with a video that I'm gonna show you on how to do the perfect wash and go. I'm gonna be using a few products today. The first one is uh, Miss Jessie's leave-in condition. This is honestly my holy grail for doing my wash and goes. I use this every single time. It has soybean and aloe in it. Um, it is amazing. It works really great for my 4C hair. Aloe vera gel is perfect for my hair. It works really great. So I love how this is incorporated um, in this leave-in conditioner. Um, you can buy it from Target. I think I buy it for $13.99 or $12.99. One of those. And this has lasted me quite a while. I just use a little uh, pinch when I do my wash and goes. I'm also going to be using this Miel Pomegranate and Honey Coil uh, Sculpting Custard. This is also my favorite. I just, um, I think I ordered this last year. I've already gone through about three of them. These are amazing for wash and goes as well. Um, Sometimes I don't use a conditioner, I just use this, and honestly, my curls are super popping. So this is something I super, super recommend. It's a little bit on the expensive side. I think it's either $14.99 or $13.99, and it does go fast if you're doing wash and goes every single day. So I do recommend to also try making your own homemade flaxseed gel, but if you don't have time for this, that, then these two, as a combination, are like my best friend. Super easy in the morning to do, especially when you're rushing to go to work. I recommend using these two products together for a um, really just high definition curls in your wash and go. I don't use oil because I don't think that you need an oil when you are doing wash and goes. Um, moisture is honestly your best friend. That's going to give you the best kind of look by just using tons of water in your hair. Um, because when you're using the oils in your hair, it's going to repel all that water and then your hair is not going to really become moisturized. So I do recommend, honestly, just a good leave-in, a good gel, and water. And then another key, which I'll show in the video, is just to shake your head really vigorously to kind of get those curls um, moving. And then the last thing I'm going to be using today is Olaplex. And I'm going to be using this shampoo to kind of wash my hair out because I do have some products sitting in there and some gel. And so I do really recommend the shampoo. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna do another video about the Olaplex because I do use um, a few of these products now and I just started using them. So anyways, let's get into the video. Enough of that and I will see you guys at the end. So now I'm just getting my Olaplex shampoo and I am going to scrub my hair and get it clean. I'm not gonna do a super, super thorough job just because this is not my wash day. I'm just getting product out of my hair. I know I said I wasn't going to talk much about the shampoo, but I really love Olaplex and I just started using a few of their products about a month ago. I really like that um, it just relinks broken bonds that are in your hair. I have already noticed a significant change in my hair in terms of my hair being stronger and my hair not shedding as much as I am washing it. I've noticed a lot of minimal um, hair loss as I'm showering as opposed to before. I would just have a lot of um, hair loss as I'm washing my hair. So now my hair is all rinsed off, um, and so now I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner. Remember, the key to applying your leave-in conditioner is to apply your products when your hair is dripping wet. I literally do it in the shower when the shower's on. I make sure my hair is dripping wet, and I go ahead and apply that product pretty thoroughly into my hair. So after I do that, I apply the leave-in conditioner. I go ahead and shake my hair because that is going to get the curls really popping. Um, so I'm going to do a good job at shaking and then I'm going to apply the gel straight after that. Again, I get my hair a little bit more wet because again, water is your best friend in terms of moisture and that's what's going to get your curls really um, just popping and defined. So I'm going to apply that and then I'm going to give my head another shake and after that I should be done and ready for some styling. So y'all, look at these curls. Look at all the movement, the definition. 
just from those two products. I used to think with my 4C hair, this could not be achievable. I used to honestly just feel like my hair is too thick, I can't get any curls, and just this simple method that I found that works for me, it has honestly made my life a whole lot easier when it comes to styling my hair in the morning, and I feel like my curls are defined, um, and yeah, my hair is just, I just love it a lot more after finding these two products and this method that works really great for me. So now I'm just styling my hair. Um, I usually do my wash and goes. I put my hair in a pineapple or an updo method. And I found these awesome clips from Target that are basically hair hooks that will make your updo a little bit tighter and a little bit cleaner. And so this has honestly changed the pineapple game for me because I feel like my hair just looks a lot tighter than just using a regular elastic hair band around my hair. And so I just hook that on. I make sure not to do it too tight because there have been times where I do it too tight and then I have a headache for most of the day. So really it just gives a tight grip on the hair. Um, and you can find these at Target for about $3.99. gel my edges let me tell y'all I had been on the hunt for a good gel that would lay my edges for a very long time I found that every gel I would use would not stick my edges would not work well and so I did some research and I found the Gorilla Snot um, Gorilla Snot gel works really really great for my hair now in this video I don't really show a lot of it because I didn't have that much left like I was literally using the bottom of the bottle or like the cap and it was just hard to get some out but when I use it my edges are super laid and I get really good definition in my hair um, I try not to use so much of it just because I know it's not the best for your hair um, but I have noticed that it really defines my curls and sometimes I do use it on my on the top of my head for some of my curls just to get a few of them more defined and it really just um, accentuates those curls so I highly recommend the gel for you if you've been looking for something it's super inexpensive I think it's like $2.99 or like $1.99 for the bottle um, and again it really sticks down your edges for the whole day and there is no white um, no white casting that's left on your hair no flaking nothing like that that I've experienced with it so I would really recommend So here is the final product of my wash and go. Look at how defined those curls are. Look at that y'all. Super clean and super easy. Hey you guys, thanks so much for watching my video. This was just a quick way for you to do a super quick wash and go. Don't get your curls defined, honey, and ready to go and start your day. Super quick, super easy. Let me know if you have any questions below in the comments. And I'll see you next time.